Hey guys, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite applications today. It's called System Monitor. As always, the links are included in the description. I know there's a lot of system monitors on the Google Play Store, but for me, this is my favorite one. It's got a lot of features that others don't have, and it's really elegantly designed. It really is a beautiful app. Now, in this video, I am using the paid and beta version of the application. So if you want the exact same features, you will have to pay for the application and also join the beta track on Google+. And yes, by the way, this is the same application I use on my gaming reviews to show the CPU usage and GPU usage. So yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so if we jump into the application here, the first tab you'll see is CPU. It's also cut into four sections on my device because the Nexus 5 has four cores, two of them offline, two of them online. It also shows you a graph there. Underneath, it will show you the frequency for each core and also the CPU usage for each core. Now, if you want to go through the different sections, you can either swipe from right to left, as easy as that, or if you want to jump to a section quickly, you can pull out the sidebar and just pick which one you want so if we go through some of the sections now again be aware that not all these sections will be available to you unless you're on the beta track we've got cpu temperature gpu showing you the frequency and usage ram disk io network top apps which shows you which apps are using the most cpu right now it gives you the ram and network usage as well cpu frequency showing you how long your device has been in each state it gives you a percent and a time you can actually click it and you can see the visualization on the graph Storage stats, I believe, requires root. You can see there, super user has granted root to, uh, to system monitor. So be aware, you will need root to run this section of it. App cache tells you how much cache each application takes. You can also choose to clear all the cache or you can clear it for separate applications. Battery graph shows you, well, it shows you a battery graph. It tells you how long it's gonna take you to charge your device, how long it's gonna take to discharge, and it gives you estimates. Battery stats basically gives you a little bit more detailed stats. It tells you about your current cycle, your discharge rate per hour, your charge st uh, statistics, and your discharge statistics overall. And then lastly, we've got the temperature of the battery. And again, you've got average, maximum, and minimum. Now, what I really love about this application, and it really sets it apart, is the floating monitors. You'll see this little icon on top of some of the tabs. If you push this, you'll get a floating monitor for the information you're on. So right now, we're on the CPU tabs. So that's what we're getting. And this is drawn on top of any application. So games and benchmarks, it'll be drawn on top of so you can see exactly what your CPU is doing. You can see what frequency it's at and the usage. If you dive into the settings here, you'll see you've got a few settings. You can show a graph if you want that as well. I don't really want that. You can change the update interval to be all the way down to 0.1 seconds. So this will be stupid quick, but you can see exactly what the CPU is doing very quickly. And you've got graph zoom as well. You've got other options here for different sections like the CPU temperature, GPU. And you can have more than one of these open at once. If we go to CPU temperature, we can turn that on. You can see it's got a huge uh, graph. Again, you don't have to have that on and you can resize it. You can have the GPU one on as well. Uh, resizing is a little bit difficult, but you get used to it after a while. Uh, there's loads of different, you can have as many as your device can kind of handle at once on here. And you can see all those different ones running you can't really see much of the screen right now, but you can have them all running if you want. I just love this feature. It's great for checking out performance in games and seeing exactly what your device is doing when it gets throttled and things like that. It also allows you to show some of that information in your notifications. So if we dive into that, you can turn on the battery notification. You'll see it's just appeared in the top left-hand corner showing you the percent. You can pull that down. It shows you the graph and your notifications when it's expanded as well. You can also just shrink that down. We can turn on CPU notification. Again, you can see it in the top left-hand corner there. Pull that down, you can see what your CPU cores are doing all the time if you want to. RAM notification, disk IO, network notification as well. I have heard he's also going to introduce the CPU temperature notification, which is something I would absolutely love as well. You've also got background monitoring. And again, this is a pretty cool feature. You can actually schedule when you want this to turn on. So you can have it turn on at 4 a.m. in the morning till 5 a.m. if you want to see what your device is doing when it's on charge and when you're asleep. And it'll give you a nice little report when you wake up telling you exactly what your CPU is doing, how much RAM was being used and all those other options. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. And lastly, we have some app options. If we dive into this, you can have different themes. You've got light, dark, light with dark action bar. That's up to you. You can turn off the battery service or you can change some of its settings and you can mess around with update intervals as well. So this application for me is absolutely awesome. It's my favorite system monitor by far. I love the fact that it has the flying monitors. I highly suggest paying for it just for that one reason, especially if you love to see what your system is doing during certain applications. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Peace out.